back with another one another video for y'all today man hope y'all having a great one today we're gonna get into these core presets with nfl studio i want to show you guys just to help y'all make better beats help y'all build out y'all chords right so just kind of want to do a little quick video on it man i thought it might help y'all out so bear with me man we're gonna get into it i'm gonna show y'all how it go right so Let's pull up a piano. Y'all know my one of my go-tos, favorite go-to, SRX Piano One. One of my favorite go-to pianos. So once you pull up your instrument, just go ahead and click on piano roll right here. And we'll go to this drop down right here. It's gonna be under stamp. See right here we got melodic chords. And this is advanced if you want to do advanced, but we're not really gonna get into the advanced like that. We're gonna go, we're gonna use these right here. You have scales down here as well if you wanna just draw out a scale. So let's just say, for example, if you wanted, we could do the major, the major scale right here, right? And we just click it. Now all of these notes are in the uh, scale of A, or in the major scale with the root note of A. And these are these will be the major notes, all in the major scale. So that's how you would do that. Just kind of a little side note. So come to this drop down, go to stamp, and we'll just start right here with minor, right? Click on minor. And since I already have F sharp right here with the scale highlighting in the background, I'll just go ahead and put it on F sharp as a root note. And that'll build out your minor chord, right? So now, and this is kind of like a beginner tutorial, like if you're new, you know, if you're new to making beats or new to FL. You can use this to kind of help build out chords. You know, if you don't if you don't know anything about you know music theory or chords, this is kind of for those people like the beginners. But I mean, even if even if you've been producing for a while, it's still something you could use if you wanted to or needed to. But you could use this to build out chords, right? So if you see that's minor, that's minor and F sharp right there. So let's go ahead and, and go drop down here. We're gonna use this chord to build out other chords. And we're just gonna stick with a triad for now. So three three notes, right? Three notes to build a chord. So maybe put this one on the same one. Drop this one down. See how that sounds. So not too bad. So maybe and I'm just using the scale highlighting right here, which is the highlighted notes in the background to kind of stay within the same scale. Kind of going for a sad vibe, so I kind of want to keep going down, down the scale. Let's see how this sounds. Not too bad. Maybe come up on this last one one more time. I don't want the chord to be the exact same. So maybe I either make it a tight chord like that, or we'll see. Let's see how this sounds. around a little bit maybe go up one not too bad right so then you can take these notes I'm just holding the command shift I'm dragging these notes down the octave so this note is on first note is on E so let's find E then you can't really drag this because it'll make you drag the whole thing, right? So just let's just go and click that note in. You can play with this note. Not bad, right? So I could I could leave it right there. Or I could take it up here. So that's how I would build out my chord progression just from using the stamp, you know, the triad, you know, uh, minor chord, right? So that's one way to do it, right? That's one um one way to do it. That's just one scale. That's what I'm trying to say. That's just one scale. So let's just say we, you know, erase all of this. 
let's just say we want to do a different scale, right? So we'll go back to this drop down stamp. Let's just say seven, minor seven, right? Which is four notes. So we'll come right here back in. Let's just change the scale highlight and we'll do this is how you change the scale highlight and just go to the drop down view. Where are we at? Scale highlighting right here. Let's just change the let's just change this to A just for something different, right? So now we're in A minor. So now let's go ahead and place this uh stamp that we copied. Let's put it on A4. And now we have a, a minor chord, uh minor seven. So now let's use the minor scale, the A minor scale in these chords to kind of build out another chord progression. So one thing I like to do when I'm building out chord progressions like this, I'll use notes that are already in the scale right here that are already being played as like a guide to where to put the uh, notes for the next chord. I hope that makes sense for you guys. So like, see, this is right here already, E5. So I'll use E5. You know, then I use C, since C is already, you know, being played. Then I maybe go down one. Then I'll just use these highlighted notes to stay in the scale, because I don't want to do the exact same chord. So let's see how that sounds. Then I'll just play around with it. That doesn't sound too bad. I like that. So now we just do the same thing, take these notes, drag them down the octave. Then just you know on a on a somewhat of an advanced level, you could take mm -hmm. these notes and and just you know kind of play different notes right here. Cut these chords short. Let's just play different notes. So let's see, maybe like this.
You can add a top line, you know. Stay within the scale. So seeing that all started from the stamp of the minor sevens chord. So that's just a way for you guys to get a different sound. Cause I know we all get caught, you know, trapped in the same, using the same chords or the same two chords, you know, just two chords for a beat or, you know, just a triad chord. Um, you know, we all get trapped into doing the same thing. It's hip hop. So, you know, we make beats very easily and it's real repetitive and we make a lot of beats. So kind of sometimes get caught in the habit of just doing the same thing. I know not all of us are piano players or we haven't spent as much time learning how to play the keyboard or music theory or different things like that, but we're just trying to make beats however we can make them. So this is one way to help you guys out. So let's just say we cut all of this, even though that's a good start. I might want to go ahead and save that. <laughs> Let me save that melody. So I'm going to just save it as... Melody, whatever, 24, right? Just something to save it as I, I kind of like that. You can start a song with that, right? So, but let's just say we go ahead and cut this. But yeah, let's go ahead and cut all that. But yeah, guys, that's what I got for you today, man. Wanted to show you how to make chords, uh, build them out of the FL presets that they have pre-made in there for you. If you want to get a different sound or if you're not good at making chords or don't know any music theory or anything like that. I just want to give you guys a quick video, show you guys how to get a good starting point on your chords. Uh, if, if it's not your strong points, you know, some people have different strengths, so different people have different strengths. So just want to give you guys a quick video on that, man. Hope it helped you guys out. Uh, hit that like button for me to help me out. Hit that subscribe button, especially. I appreciate you guys rocking out with me. I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time, man, sign